it's like walking into a school again. And you're just learning. It's something you don't really know too much about. So when you walk in and you see something, it just catches your eye. You're just like, oh, I want to learn about this. Or what is this photo? Like, where do you get the inspiration for this? Where is this from? How did he come up with the idea for this? And so each step that I've taken, I've learned a little bit more about what it means, where it's from, even the, uh, the cities. Just hearing that story is actually, it's kind of like, wow, it's crazy, you know? You're living here versus somewhere else, and you get to see something through someone else's eyes. It's very interesting. Right when I walked through the door, the gentleman holding the drum caught my eye right off rip, and I actually looked at it, I was like, is this a painting or a photo? I saw it was a photo, and I was like, wow, this is really crazy. Then I saw he had shirts, and it was of the gentleman with the shackle on his ankle. And then the next photo that caught my eye was actually the elder gentleman holding the shackle. And those two, so actually those three are just like awe-inspiring. It's just like, wow, it's crazy. The history of how far as everything's come together and how we are now. Very today. impressed. Some of the artwork is really done very professional. So it's, uh, it's remarkable that you get so, it stretches from the beginner look to somebody who's really good. So it's really refreshing to see all the different types of art. And I do enjoy the black art. I think some of the stuff, like that piece back there, just amazing. I have a little experience being in Italy, and when you go to the mountain towns, when you see them at a distance, they look like that. I'm very surprised by the quality. As I said, there's some, some really good art right off the bat that hit me and when it's good for me it sort of tugs at me right away and I'll spend a lot of time looking at it. This picture reminds me of just like how the mountains and the houses were stacked up against the mountains. Haiti is a beautiful country nonetheless so this image just, just pretty much encapsulated everything that I saw. Wow this is a beautiful exhibit you know I, I really enjoy and seeing what all these artists did you know what I mean I believe in creative energy and how that helps people um, escape their, the pressures of life, but also, you know, um, get high, so to speak, you know what I'm saying, natural high. As soon as I walked walk through the door, I, I seen the beautiful, vibrant colors of Haiti. You know, the from red, blue, green, um, there's one artwork that's, that's literally behind me, you know, looking at this uh, image and it just depicts Haiti, you know. And you could interpret it any way, any any faucet, you know, just understanding the, the struggle, the, the beautiful nature of Haiti. I had the opportunity to go to Haiti and I saw the exact image of the colorful houses on, on the mountains. And being able to see it on a painting, that speaks volume. And being, this, being able to see it on a, on, on a male, on, on someone that, you know, that's, that's pure art, you know. It's like a reflection of me in Haiti. Come and check it out. You know, it's great, great, great opportunity, great educational experience for the young one.